Alright. <coughs> <coughs> What's up, guys? Ready for uh, another dank tutorial here. Let me ask you a question. Would you like your stream to look like this? Yeah, just... Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, such a good video, guys. Totally like I didn't do it the last Woo! second. Oh my god, wow. Oh. Okay, let's not watch the rest of that. That's pretty cringy, okay. Okay, oh god, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt me. So, let's move on and just get this tutorial over with. Um, I was talking about specifically the video fretboard feature where there's like instead of a black fretboard or like a custom fretboard it's like a its own separate effect underneath um and i'm going to show you how to do that today but um i have three uh, blah, blah, blah. i have three prerequisites here that um you probably should have done before you start this video um or else it will not work great for you i don't think um the well yeah, so the first one is that you have to install GH3 with um, Guitar Hero 3 control panel and all that stuff that gives you a black background. And I, I mean that whenever you're playing the game, you do not have a like stage showing with characters. You have just a black background and then the fretboard. Um, if you don't have that done, I have a video in the description that you can watch to get that done. Second prerequisite is that your fretboards are black. And I mean... Um, this thing here. This thing that's behind the notes and everything that I've replaced here needs to be black. Not um, a design that's black, like an actual just 100% black. It cannot be the Warriors of Rock one, so if you install the Warriors of Rock mod like I have, you'll have to change it. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have also linked a tutorial in the description. I don't have time to cover that in this video. It's already going to be long-winded. So, yeah, it's probably 20, 30 minutes, unfortunately. So, let's move on here. Third prerequisite is that you already have some kind of picture-in-picture uh, -picture thing set up. So, I'm going to drag that across the screen real quick. Um, This is where we... Um, This is what the end product is going to look like. Um, And this is where we were at the last... Um, Shoot, it's not showing it because I don't have Guitar Hero 3 running. In fact, I'm going to start up Guitar Hero 3 real quick. And that'll help out a little bit on the explanation thingy. Ah, uh, scoop boop 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 bow Yeah, it's just going to be Guitar Hero there for a second. Let me go ahead and get this off here. For fun, I'm going to go ahead and start up a song. I'm going to do this so I don't lose my mind. Because we're going to need this later to show you something, and I don't want to have to, like, do too much to the game to make this work. So, let's just uh, put on about a girl. And wait for the fretboard to show up before I do anything else. Yeah, so this is what your game needs to look like ahead of time. See how this is just a black fretboard? Alright, so what it's going to, what we're working with right now is, uh, what in the world? Um, hold up, guys. This is, did that just crash? Well, guys, I think my OBS just crashed, so I'm going to start that up again. Apologies for the long-winded video that is going to happen, because I'm not going to edit this thing. Are you kidding me? Hopefully I'm marginally entertaining enough to keep you focused. Alright, cool. Um, so this is, if you can see this, this is what the end product is going to look like. Um, scroll down. This is where you guys should be starting if you followed my previous tutorial. Now this will, this tutorial is going to cover what to do if you do what I do, or what I used to do, which is cut out the fretboard here using, if I right click um, the window capture here, with a um, image mask. However, what some people do instead of that is what I'm going to show you how to do beforehand if you don't, like say you followed my tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is start off from this and if you um, chroma key out yours instead of cutting it out, we're going to cover that too. So just sit tight, we'll get to that. 
So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and go back to filters on your window capture and get rid of this. See what I'm saying? It's just a, a black screen now. And instead of that, you want to add a chroma key. Or actually, a color key. And you want to make it custom color and select just black, 100% black. See what that does? It just makes it cut out like that. Now, the best way to do this, i found, is to put similarity at 1 so it only cuts out exactly black and then set the smoothness as high as you can stand um, without it just kind of disappearing. I think that uh, maybe like, you know, 49 is a good spot because um, we're going to fill in all of this stuff behind the fretboard that's normally black. All right, and uh, you can raise your contrast. You can do a couple things here if you want. Um, I leave them about where they are, but you can do what you want with them. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add another source. Now, here's where, um, you just call it image 4, um, here's what people normally do. They go to uh, this underlay, which is a black image, and they put it, um, well, first of all, we need to move it down underneath the thing. They move it underneath this, and then boom, there you go, see? We did it. Um, but I think that my solution looks cooler, personally, so I do that. So we're actually going to get rid of this. I just wanted to show you what most people do. So instead of this image, we're going to press the plus button here. We're going to add a uh, VLC video source is something you can do, but I'm just going to add a media source because it works just the same. And I already have some down here, but local file, hit browse, and uh, you want to download, and I should have mentioned this ahead of time, you want to download one of these videos. Um, let me show you what mine looks like. Uh, do 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 we're bringing it up. All right. <laughs> they misspelled glorious. That's pretty funny. Um, this is basically what the video looks like. It's just a looping um, ambient color video. Like at the end of the video, you can see if I move to the end, it just oh wow, it's slow enough that I actually have to. It's like there. Watch, see, it it just loops. Um, it stutters because of Media Player Classic, but uh. Oh wow, my webcam's actually lagging a bit behind, so this is uh, interesting. Um, so if you just go to YouTube, and pardon my uh, default stuff that comes up, it's probably going to be cancer. Um, so you can just search ambient background video loop. And stuff like this comes up. And I, will, I recommend you pick something simple. I recommend you pick something symmetrical. And I also recommend you pick something that's one color. Like here's the one that I use. Um, pick one that's one color, and I'll show you why at some point in the video. Um, you'll see why. Um, actually, what I'm going to do now. You don't have to do what I'm doing now. I'm just doing this because my video is delayed and it's going to bother me. <laughs> so here's your media source that I was adding. Um, you want to select that file. And now it's going to fill up the whole screen. That's an issue. So what you do now is you go to filters and you do the exact same thing. You add an uh, image mask. You do the exact same thing that we did for the fretboard in the previous video. Hit path. Hit um, GH3 all if you use. See, I have uh, two separate ones. I have one for GH3 if you have the original. And I have one for if you have the Warriors of Rock mod, which is what I use. So the Warriors of Rock mod is what we're going to use here. And... I guess maybe I didn't set it to loop because it just went away. So, kids, pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm not, apparently. So, like, loop. And see, it cut it out. Um, I wish you could have saw that live instead of delayed because I'm silly. But there you go. See, it cuts it out. I need to go back to filters, not properties. I'm silly. See, it's cutting it out right here. Um, you want to leave everything the same, basically. Um, so now you just drag this, oh, this needs to be below, you see where I'm pointing the mouse, it needs to go below the fretboard, so hit that arrow key to bring it down, and just drag it until it's underneath where you need it to go. Um, it might need a bit of resizing, so uh, I like to use that circle there as a good, like, judge, it's going to be a little outside, but trust me, we can, we're making, we're going to make it better before it's over with, so... 
the next thing you want to do is go to that same media source that you created, go to filters again, and uh, we're going to add another effect. We're going to add a color correction. And this is where it's important because you're replacing black. So everything that's here that you're seeing should be black. And not just the fretboard, but like the outlines of the strings and everything else. So what you want to make sure that you do, I'm pointing to you, <laughs> is set your contrast somewhat high and then lower your brightness to where it's almost black. Now it looks a little dark here, but that's mostly just because... Um, I have the game paused and it darkens it whenever the game's paused. But I promise you this will look just fine. And here's a bonus thing that you can do. You don't have to do this. I actually do a little bit of it. Make that a little opaque and you can kind of see like you can see my hand uh behind the fretboard. So if you want to do that a little bit like I do, I do it about 90%. You can do that. Oh, and here's the reason that we wanted a sol solid, like single color video because this hue shift bar if you change that you can change it to any color you want you want it like red you can do that and then you can lower the brightness a little more maybe raise the contrast or maybe lower the contrast whatever you feel like you need to do gamma maybe a little higher or brightness a little more you know so maybe we have a red fretboard like that maybe we change it and we have a green fretboard you have a lot of possibilities, and depending on the video that you pick, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. Saturation is just how colorful it is. You can make it black and white, or you can make it way too colorful. I recommend you keep it about default, so let's make everything back to default. Brightness, raise contrast. Contrast is just so the brights show up, but like everything else kind of stays dark. Um. So yeah, we can do all sorts of stuff like that. I'm going to make it like blue so that it's different. So, yeah, there we go. There's the bottom of it. Um, was there anything else I needed to cover before it was over? I'm not sure. I'm not thinking I'm missing anything. But, yeah, that's how you do that. Um, and you can always just replace it with the black background if you want to. You know, by swapping between these. And if you want to, what you can do is you can just take this uh, breadboard cutout, go back to filters turn off color key, and then turn on image mask, and that'll do the exact same thing. And you can see the tail end of it kind of here. But you see what I'm saying. Turn off color key, it does that. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you like this tutorial. Let me know if it was confusing, if you need help with any of the other things I mentioned. Um, I think that this looks really good. I'm surprised I haven't seen more people doing it. But... You know, it just depends on what your preference is. If you want a simple looking stream, if you want a crazy looking stream. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any questions, I'll try to help. Hit me up on YouTube comments, Discord, whatever you want. Um, I should, I think I'm going to provide links in the description to my Discord server, to my Twitter, to things that you can contact me on. Um, and just, just let me know, you know. Until next time. And I got hit. What up? I didn't actually get it to where I pressed... Stop recording until now. Okay, now I'll see you.